The world is full of legends and tales about dragons, mermaids, and unicorns. But let's expand our horizons today and look into the world of some of the most terrifying and fascinating creatures that populated the myths and legends of one of the oldest civilizations in the world. So, let's dive into the dark and mysterious world of Mesopotamian mythology. Let's start with the fact that in the mythology of ancient Mesopotamia, even the origin of the world is associated with primeval, monster serpents, that were seen as the fantastical embodiment of chaos and evil. Described as, sharp-toothed, with fang unsparing, possessing bodies filled, with poison for blood, they gather in council, preparing to wage a war in heaven against the great gods. Sometimes demons were identified with natural phenomena and natural disasters. Such demons used thunder and lightning as weapons. The Anzu bird appears prominently in Mesopotamian mythology. It was an enormous bird-like monster with the head of a lion. The flapping of its wings was thought to be the cause of sandstorms and whirlwinds. Another storm demon was Ugalu. His weapons were the dagger and the mace, often raised in a threatening manner. This deadly weapon struck people down like lightning. Anzu and Ugalu were depicted with a roaring lion's head. A direct line is drawn between the roaring of a big cat and the thunderclap. Some demons caused illness, nightmares, and even death in humans. For example, Akkazu grabbed and held its victims down, causing them to develop fevers and plagues. Namtar was a disease demon, especially strongly associated with headaches and heart pain. Mukul Rezlamuti caused benign headaches and wild swings in mood. Sulak was the demon of the privy. He hid in toilets and was also held responsible for causing strokes and seizures. But the most monstrous demon was Asig, the hideous monster of the mountains. He was hideous and had the power to make fish boil alive in the rivers. As a demon of plague, Asig attacked humans and killed them with head and fever diseases. The most terrible of all female demons was Lamashtu. She primarily attacked pregnant women and infants, whom she sought to devour. Lamashtu was often portrayed as a mythological hybrid with a bird's or a lion's head. She is mostly in the company of dogs and pigs. Humans believed that water demons or water spirits dwelled in the rivers, streams and canals of Mesopotamia. Lamu and Lahamu were originally river spirits. Their flowing hair with three pairs of curls symbolized water. Some water demons stirred up the water and polluted it so that it won't be useful to man. The ancient Mesopotamians also believed that the underworld was home to many demons. For example, Gertablulu was immensely violent and dangerous. He was able to induce death with his gaze and terror with his presence. Ghosts, spirits of the dead, especially of those who died by violence or were not properly buried, were considered creatures of fear and terror. Some just wandered aimlessly over the earth, unable to find rest. Others were evil vampire spirits who hid in dark corners, waiting to attack humans. Some demons could be either bad or good. For example, Pazuzu, the king of the wind demons. He had a fearsome appearance. He could fly in the sky and cause diseases, famine, and storms with his breath. However, Pazuzu was not always evil. He could also protect people from other evil spirits, especially Lamashtu. The next monster is Humbaba, the guardian of the cedar forest. He was feared by all living beings, as he could kill anyone who entered his domain with his fiery breath or his gaze. Demon masks were often hung on doors to ward off evil, in the belief that greater evil, namely, Humbaba, would defeat some minor evil spirit. There were benevolent spirits in ancient Mesopotamia. They had mainly a hybrid human-animal appearance. One group of entities was used to ward against various malign demons, malevolent intruders, to protect temples and cemeteries. Another group of entities were powerful guardian spirits of the state and the king. The Mesopotamians also erected statues of large monumental bulls Lamassu at the gates of palaces or cities. Demons could easily go through doors, windows, and walls, so protection was paramount. The Mesopotamians used magic, rituals, amulets, prayers, and offerings to the gods. These are just some examples of the demons and monsters that populated Mesopotamian mythology. Thank you for watching and see you next time.